regular season games with Santa Cruz, all in the month of January, and averaged 32 points on 52% shooting. Is that good? That is uh, really good. Yeah. In case of the insane athleticism. Yeah, Wiseman missed his first three shots. He's hit his last three. Face up jumper doesn't go for Foster. State last year. Mari Hardy. Foster going right at Wiseman. Well, yeah, Wiseman went right at him. So Foster had to reflect upon unselfish, the extra passing. Santa Cruz loves Dunbar for his high energy play. Foster and one. Big time talents and Marjan Bochamp and as we mentioned earlier, Scoot Henderson. Foster offensive rebound swallowed by Selim. And Caleb Ledoux! Yeah. You're more of the underground guy. Yeah, a banger is a banger, Drew. <laughs> Foster inside. Wiseman well, stayed straight up. I think you need to alert the Santa Cruz bench during the next <laughs> time out. I'm sure they know that. that. Foster airballing that one. You just got to do something a little different. So how'd that pass actually get there? Michael Foster Jr. on the baseline, rack attack. Probably said something to Daniels after he missed. That was cool. Gotta love it. Jamie. I mean, he was really animated, and then Mwubbe looked at him like, hey, come at me again. That was nice. Would have been just their sixth. Foster passed up an open three momentarily to settle for a contested two. And Good challenge there from Wiseman. And a few more closer. Michael Foster Jr. off the dribble. Can't finish. And they do a good job of boxing out Dakari Allen. 95 apiece. Final 3 43. Foster open jumper well short. Never had a chance. Selma Wugbe with nine rebounds. Mari Hardy sets up Foster, open three is drilled. He airballed a mid-range shot not too long ago, by the way. Yeah, love the support for James. Now the timeout, great look inside, beautiful ATO drawn up by Jason Hart. He's gotta be feeling real good about that timeout. Oh, yeah. For Amari Hardy. Foster driving, got fouled by Selim Awukbe. Oh, and then Santa Cruz leads by four. Hardy's got to go quick. Three, good for Foster. 6.5, won a game against Memphis. Looking to get it in, they do to Foster. Puts up a shot, doesn't get it. He thought he was fouled, no whistle. This game in This season, the efficiency. Foster barreling his way inside. That's Michael Foster Jr.'s had an impressive season, but couldn't finish there. You're not going to have most of these guys for more than four to five years, seven years at most on a team. For the most part, as Foster finishes. Yeah, it just, yeah that's, anyways. that's so. Which really should be Kevin's middle name. Yeah. <laughs> Good recall. Nice lob. Ferrari running the point, has his pocket picked by Henderson. Scoop to Foster, who throws it down with a Thora top. It's just everything about that sequence, the deep. Line. He made a ball fake, and no one was guarding him. He was kind of unsure yeah. what to do. Foster a long two, doesn't have enough on it. Nearly knocked away, they split a couple defenders. It's Foster on a turnaround. Pulling up, and it's short. Fantastic. He was a great seat up last year on a flex two-way from Dallas. The follow is good for Foster. Well, it was a nice little give-and-go pass from Foster. 
Out to Henderson. Nice shot fake. Good closeout by Ledoux. It drops off the iron, but there's another offensive rebound. Pushed up by Daniels. He's up the score we got. Be in double double territory. Jaden Hardy. And somehow landed in the lap of Foster. And that was a good strong take. He just got stripped. Got a plan out the string now. 16 point game, two minutes to go. Foster in and out on the bank. That was the rebound. Kept that ball out with his left hand. I mean, he can palm it with both. He really that is really impressive stuff. Foster's been very solid this year, averaging close to a double double. Jaden Hardy steals the two games with the C Dubs. If Santa Cruz wins, we'll find a way to <laughs> get Seth the W. <laughs> Good defense down low for Mawukbe. Foster is a big nine year NBA veteran in his own right. Foster can't finish, defended well by Mawukbe, and then stripped by Pemberton. Here comes level ball players. Kind of surprised that Quindary settled for that pull-up three. Yeah, I thought he was going to try to punish him on the block. Well, Michael Foster is certainly being aggressive here. And Bozang looking inside. Nice job by Mawube to be alert and deflect the pass. Foster a little short there. 58 57 Seth Cooper saying, just want to see a continuation of what we accomplished against Birmingham tonight. Figaro with the block. Merck's trying to put on a show, though, for the fans. It's good way, right? Yeah, that's an air ball. Oh, Selma Wugbe says, get that out of here, Michael Foster. To be exact. There's Foster. Normally, he's pretty adept at that shot. I Foster. He'll keep firing. Pemberton slipped. Already with 19. Barrels his way to the bucket and runs into Mawugbe. He says, uh-uh, good sir. Fourth block for Mawugbe, but Foster gets his first field goal. He is one of them now with 13. Figueroa fronting the post initially, forcing Foster to catch it out 20 feet from the hoop. And now he got that layup inside. Nash Hits the draft starting at McNeese State. He's drafted in the second round by College Park and traded to Santa Cruz for the returning rights to Isaiah Reese, who had played two years with the C-Dubs. Earlier in the year, Jason Hartwood would go with an all-prospect Five to finish as Michael Foster misses a dunk. It's been that kind of night for Yeah, but don't get outside of your comfort zone as we see Foster with a nice offensive rebound over Taco Falls. That was Murphy's first miss of the afternoon. He was three for three before that attempt. Oh, we. I know it's Sunday, but that block is looking like Taco Tuesday. And hard. Other guys are trying to prove that they should be drafted and they should last for a longer time in the NBA. Looks like he's just gliding. He, he just has those that athleticism to his game, that bounce to his step. Ooh. James got up for that. Guys that have that floater. Because you don't know what to do. If you if you come too early, they can uh oh Hardy getting a little saucy. And Foster nice. with the finish with the left. I like it. Hardy with the excellent bounce. from the first half that extended run is now 23 to 6 by Cleveland Foster with the miss Cleveland with the rebound one opportunity Taco Fall with 10 points eight rebounds oh wow Foster I think Foster getting a little bit out of his wheelhouse with the, with the three oh nice block by Scott Nice block by Scott. In position, I know, the, I know there's a lot of different people working along with you 
So what's next for the Ignite and just the future of the G League altogether? Well, continue to grow, continue to integrate within the NBA. We're 20. Used to guys being. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to throw my bones, Steph. Stop it. You, you said that okay so sarcastic, like whatever. Just saying I hear you. No, you, you didn't. You didn't hear it. <laughs> That's short. And uh, here comes Ignite plus two. Michael Foster, really big, long. He's got an NBA body already. Misses the shot. Daniels with a stick. Capital City, 131 to Delaware. So they, they want to stop some people, first and foremost. They win a lot of games doing that. Garza tries to stop Foster. He does. Saban comes skying in for the reset, just getting comfortable. Six to four, one for two points. Foster to the rim. And a rock of it. Um, Chad, this is why this team is 12 and four when you've got two point guards that can really share it. Like you say, Chad, sharing the sugar with D. Walt and Saban Lee. There's some sharing of the sugar. Detroit's own Hardy finds Mike Eastern. Yep, he saw him a lot. And we saw him as well in that uh, Bowling Green Falcon arena. There's a jump shot for Foster, and he's fresh. Ignite, not a six points and a rebound. Interesting numbers. Same lineups. Jump shot off. That's Foster again, who's taking a win. Playing against the team from California. That's right. The Ignite are uh, based out of San Francisco. Yes, sir. Floater short. And here come the Crews with their lark. Somehow the Ignite get away unscathed. Yeah. He was really attacking that offensive glass, though. You like that? Cruz attacking the defensive glass there, too. Here comes Ignite. That's the Foster steal. He'll try to start it and finish it. Another short range miss, and that size is really starting to show his teammate bails him out. Zang for three, no. Beauchamp goes up and grabs it with one hand. Back to the, oh my goodness. How about the lay-in for Michael Foster Jr.? He said, this kid will be in it four years in a row, and nobody has ever done that. How about that? <laughs> I yeah. said, yeah, you're right. Yeah, freshman, sophomore, and two years in the G League. That's, yeah. And the fans don't know. But, uh, hey, there's some guys out. Crews playing through it. I always have all year. It's been great to watch. Look at that. That's great to watch if you're an Ignite fan. That's the second hammer. Ives doesn't equal a dime on that. No, but they, they got a good look, Chad, and, and really they take great care of the ball tonight, most of the night. Foster pulling up over the shorter Turner, and he looks comfortable. Pretty looking shot, comfortable doing many things. Hardy also, his 10-footer no good. Foster stick back good, and the foul. Does this look like Zion Jr.? I mean, six low first quarter, really exploded. Foster from downtown, he's done it all tonight, and this time he gets his 20th from the long line. How about performance of the season? No doubt. The way they're talking, too, on defense, Chad, you can kind of hear it up here. Nice telling you you're okay. Left, right, to the <laughs> ear. <laughs> no, thank you. 19-point lead, the largest. <laughs> I'll leave those to others. Bad. They're Stats. <laughs> Turner, no look to Smith. A long time in the NBA. He's a really talented kid. Yeah, that length is something, especially from the point guard spot. There's another Aussie with length that plays point guard. The NBA. He's catch, didn't bring the ball down. Love watching Czech Diallo play. Diallo now with uh, six points, as you saw there. To go with a couple rebounds. Make it three, or four, rather. It's number three. Outstanding food, open late. Back to the action, start of the fourth. Ignite with it. Little bully ball for the young kid Foster. Not going to work on Garza. The full out. You never know it. Luka Garza plays like the game is always tied. Team ball going on. Foster. No good. He's been quiet, Matt, in this second half in this game. Cruz with a big time lead. Zach Russell, famous guy. Yeah. Elbow jumper, no. Garza with a rebound. It's a great, great energy. Rajon Tucker with the first bucket of the game for the Wisconsin Herd. Tucker, of course, one of the stars on this team as Michael Foster Jr. scores his first shot of the game. Just his second game with the Wisconsin Herd. 
Ali Oop and Michael Foster Jr. on the receiving end. On the weak side of the rim, nice soft uh, touch off the backboard. This is finishing up on Larry. He had a 42-point game to open up the regular season part portion of the schedule. The rotations are coming from again, and uh, the defense is tightening up. Foster with the offensive rebound and the putback. Big, strong move inside by the young fella. Toes level. Little, yeah, he's on his toes a little bit more. His hands are a little bit more active. <laughs> so there's a little extra pride of Valentine's Day. You're in trouble, man. <laughs> the good news is you can just stop by the uh, ticket office on your way yeah, out that's today. Right. Hey, there's Michael Foster, Jr. Nice smooth move. Good point. The corner, but well short on that one. Foster showing his handles. Pull up jumper, 15 off the mark. And it's Bailey with the rebound. One of the things we're going to be talking to Rod Strickland with, who plays a big role in that G League Ignite team, program manager. We'll get his thoughts on it. But it's those things, body language, that the, that the scouts are looking for? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, You've got to be, I think Ted Lasso said this, right? You've got to be a goldfish. There's he, less time on the shot clock when he launched that one. Here's Murphy floating through the lane. Tried the fingertip roll. And instead it is Michael Foster Jr. with a follow-up. It's such a big difference in understanding your pace to get up to your follow-through, to have the poise. But the pace you bring it up from your hip up to the top of your shot is so key in terms of getting in rhythm, having cops slash through the lane and was rewarded. And, and was able to get that because Michael Foster, as you'll learn, you don't worry about the last play, you play the next play. And some of that comes from just letting the last play lie. That first, first three steps to the next possession, whether it be offense or defense, is so critical with five guys moving in unison to uh, lay up. Got to keep playing. Got to keep playing. Step back by Foster. And come back. back to the rim. Got to the rim, just didn't finish. And Michael Foster Jr. blocked. That's what went in great. Well, and I think that's one of the things that I was looking forward to seeing. You know, would we see a significant size difference because these guys are so young and yet when I'm looking out here right now I'm for Charlie Brown Jr. Foster got it and Matt just when the blue coats have their players on assignment from the Sixers and the two ways a very deep roster that includes some G League veterans like Highsmith and Brown Ridge long two Foster bottom of the net and one of the things we really enjoyed, he fell so hard for that pump pick. Foster, guarded by Reed, scores over him, nice move. So just to keep in mind, Foster has not missed a shot here to He's got it going. Season. It yes. must be Andre Drummond's support with the Reed jersey courtside here in Wilmington. Foster, another make, five for five. It really is, and the overtime didn't help. No. Here's the start of the second half as Michael Foster Jr. throws it down. Wow. That's his sixth made field. And denied. But Jason Hart actually recruited a lot of these guys to USC as Foster finishes 7-for-7. Seven seven. You know what I call that because Foster was the one who got the block today, correct? Second. No, first. Bochamp to the bench. Only two to shoot. Lobbed in. Foster hasn't missed yet. Harrison jostled it out, and a shot clock violation. Hey. By Charles Bass. Get it out of here. So they go back at him, they do. Foster creating space, and Bassey says no again. Well, Matt, the Six coats in double figures, four Ignite players. Foster, one of those players with 17. Harrison grabs it. He has... Bassey, that's an impressive offensive board because he went straight up having had a white jersey in front of him. That was Foster's first attempt from three. It's not allowing that break to begin. Here they are on the move. Foster 
plays the defense for the two hand flush. And that's some of that athleticism that we were talking about right there. Foster with the block. Daniels going up the floor. Kicks to Foster for the jumper. Bochamp missed time that jump and Shackle comes up with it. Doesn't go. Daniels with the rebound. Up the floor. The lob to Foster for two hands. Foster already showing us athleticism. This is what night. The Gogo have really capitalized 19 points off of them. And that's one reason why you see that small lineup. Murphy goes to Foster. It has a lot of good ball handlers. In play. You look at the production, particularly with the assist. Averages three a game so far on the season does Greg Monroe an assist. That one off, that one for Goodwin off the mark. Gogo last couple of possessions gone away from what had been working for them as Foster skies in for two. Probably the third dunk we've seen today. 35 seconds to play in the half. Jetter stops on a dime, goes to Foster. He lays it up and in. 10 on the shot clock, Daniels. In the lane is Foster. That's his fourth dunk in the ball game. And we know that Foster has bounced. Monroe, another good pass right there. Three defenders around him, found Jordan Shackle in the corner. Foster, that's two quick buckets to start the fourth for Foster. And we've seen Foster. Rowe. Tried to go back to a Yayi, taken away by Daniels. Up the floor, Hardy to Foster. Two hands again down the middle. Foster just one dunk after another. Hardy. Foster now with it. Back to Hardy on the one bounce. Foster again with two hands. Foster's on his way to getting like 10 dunks in this game. Bochamp. Eight on the shot clock. The lob to Foster. He lays it up and in. Make that 10. But he was going to dunk that one too. <laughs> and taken away. Hardy to Foster. Count the bucket and the foul for Michael Foster. And we got it. Up the floor, Foster. No call. Foster now with it again. Sword with the rebound. Shackle tried to get the offensive foul, but there was a no. Hardy off the handoff. Flips it to Foster. That Janike disrupts it just enough. Schuler in transition. Kicks it. 114.98. As Foster gets that to go. Doesn't fall. Foster with the rebound. Up the floor. Foster still with it. Gets around Monroe for the lay-in. Also there going coast to coast. Bochamp. Henderson. Four seconds. Rises. Doesn't go. Foster for the cleanup. Foster continues to fly to the basket. And Pass deflected by Gray. Up with it is Bochamp. Kick out to Zeng. He'll take the three. Leaves it short. Foster on the offensive glass. He is a load to handle inside the 19-year-old Michael Foster Jr. Art. Shots just haven't fallen so far for Long Island. Daniels back out to Foster. Trying to show off the range now. Michael Foster Jr. can't knock it down. And also playing on the defensive side of the ball. Well, a lot of that comes with the athleticism and the length. Defense, for the most part, is about want to. Let's just see some good defense there from Chris Walker. Was a draft pick back in 2010 by the then New Jersey Nets. Give you an idea how long Crawford's been doing his thing. Another miss inside by Foster. Dealing some on the up-and-comers here for the night. Turned over. Inside. And Jordan Crawford down with it off the miss from Foster. David Duke Jr. down the right side. Can't finish. Foster has the rebound. He'll push it. Michael Foster Jr. keeping it himself coast to coast. Pretty finish there from Foster. Thought maybe he was dialing up a huge... C.J. Miles in the game here for the first time for the Ignite. Now Foster. Jumper over Woodbury is short. Blocked away by Foster. 
Good D there from Michael Foster Jr. He's running the floor, has it off the feed from Bochamp and jams it home. I think Bochamp might have been looking at Daniels there, but the pass tap. Jetter. Inside, Foster Jr. over Walker, can't get it to go. And the Nets will start in transition. Free throw here. How Rebound pulled down by Murphy. The last G League game that Ty Wallace played was last year against the G League Ignite in the bubble. Foster Jr. cleaning up his own rebound. Michael Foster Jr. has eight point pocket. Hardy inside, can't finish. Foster on the offensive glass. Third try from Zeng won't go. And now Raekwon Gray starts. Now four out of 24 as a team from deep, but they still lead it by 10. Inside it is Foster over Gray. The Ignite finally on the scoreboard from Long Island Nets head coach Adam Caporn so often about the degree of difficulty of the shots that Jordan Crawford can make. NBA shots, he calls them, and that was one of them. And a guy who's played nearly 300. And Arjan Bochamp has a team high 18 points for the Ignite. Finds Foster facing up Woodbury. Working on those post moves, Michael Foster count the basket and a chance for a three-point play. It is a 19-point Long Island lead. Foster's jumper in and out. Barely. Bochamp surveys and finds Jaden Hardy. The slip to Foster and a strong move inside to put G League Ignite on the board. It's good to see him come out to a hot season long, exhausting, having not played a single home game. He's just proud of the effort and how they've competed. Well, yeah, they've had hurdles all season long. He couldn't even coach in the early season because he didn't have his visa. Daniels flips it back to Foster on the elbow. Consistent scoring. And that's what that's where he can make their final games of their inaugural season in the NBA G League. Hardy, great find of Foster, but the big man is met at the rim by Garley Soho, a player they call a basket. Thought he was fouled. And here comes Henderson the other way. Inside, Foster stays patient and ends what was a near six-minute scoring drive. The Coast City has scored the last nine. Hardy feeds Foster. He's looked good as a playmaker today. Size advantage for Foster. Going to work on the block. And it's in. And a foul. A grown man's move for Michael. Can ignite answer. And strong starts in each of the quarters. Daniels inside. Foster with the finish. And that's where Daniels excels. Taking his time in the middle. They were just four and 10 coming out of the winter showcase, but looking for the sweep today. Hardy back to work, doesn't get the call. Foster stays with it and can try to get three the old fashioned way for the win Friday. Foster sizes up. Tough fade away and it still goes. And that's the fifth foul on Davis a little. A triple double last game. Had a season high 10 assists to go with 19 points. Foster muscling, maneuvering, but no good. It's a mismatch. Daniels running the point. Wow, but upstairs, Foster with the lay in. And the great pass by Dyson Daniels. One handed right up. Rigoberto Mendoza was aggressive on the other end. Here's Foster Jr. Back and down inside, fadeaway jumper, no good. Rebound for Mendoza, the 29 year old. Hardy. Good pass inside. Foster had it blocked. Andreasi to run. Here at Canyon team, his sophomore year, and, and deliver 35 points. Unbelievable score. Just another day at the office for Hardy. Tough turnaround won't go for Foster. Bochamp's tip, no. On that, not so much as improving your weaknesses. I thought that was very interesting in what he was trying to focus on the last couple of months. Well, a lot of players, as you see with, <laughs> with this one tonight. Good defense from Bochamp. Dave Ignite the ball back. Foster working in the post. No. 
count. Luckily for Ignite, because they're getting wide open looks, they're just not capitalizing. Rare three for Foster goes awry. Long rebound in the NBA anyways. <laughs> I don't know, James Harden doesn't know. Jetter inside to Foster. Somehow his first points in. His first points of the night. He's, he struggled he's to the highest level, which is the NBA. Why not be a part of it as early as you can be? Michael Foster Jr. inside lost his footing. Clearly frustrated after that last miscue. That's what Sean, you can't focus on all that stuff because <laughs> night in and night out, you're playing against pros that are studying you like a book. You have to be able to come here and play as Foster hits his first three down in the next few minutes. Daniels up ahead to Foster Jr. Had a mouse in the house for a moment. Oh. Now pulls up way off the mark. His last touch. Already mishandles it at first. Deep in the Fo clock. There's three seconds left. The lob into Foster. And the big man puts it in. Great poison control by Foster. Ignite with the opening possession. Michael Foster gets denied. And coming away with it is Kaycock. As time is going on for Ignite. Foster sizing up Kaycock. Rebounded on the weak side by Holman, the 24-year-old. 100% correct. It's a learning experience for Foster. And, of course, he's responsible to make sure that he takes care of his business. Foster denied. It was Kaycock and Holman. Now Morris going right. Way with that because you have the size and versatility for not only for them to be able to score on multiple players, but to defend multiple players as well. Hardy, no. Foster follows. Athleticism and become even better players. Devin Booker was young, very similar to what Josh Primo is coming into the NBA. Foster, a block on one end, a slam on the other. With the Hoyas. 2019. Two minutes remaining for two minutes. Foster turning baseline. That was a tough shot. Graves couldn't squeeze it. Now he does. Basketball. As well as, you know, African players in the NBA. Well, now you're starting to, you know, there's only 450 full-time jobs available. And so that really allows those guys on a two-way contract to be more available during this portion of the season. Uh, but it does seem, based off of the way that I understand the And I believe that that is another benefit of having a G League is the fact that you have players really at your disposal. Tatar Bozic, the head coach, after four seasons as an assistant with Austin, going down the line to congratulate everybody on a job well done. Now, <laughs> I was looking for a title. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't everyone got the same book. No. Yeah. You know, he, he would go and get, you know, everyone different books. Now, again, I have the books. Different. I've never read any. A huge way so far this season and will be a first-round pick when the time comes. I just want to make, I'm just keeping you honest, Mike, because I, 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 I had a feeling you were going to keep him on the rise. But, you know, John, it's interesting. Four high schools kind of sets off almost misses the three. Here's Foster leading the break. The big man. And that's what we've seen. It is an evolving game here, professional basketball. I mentioned Mikel Bridges. He reminds me of Jay Crowder a little bit. But similar ilk, you know. Jaden Hardy yeah. dish off. Laying it in, Michael Foster. One thing about Michael Foster is the tech. The old man. Hardy up top to Foster, pulling it down in traffic, finishes it off. He's really good around the basket with both hands. Really impressed with him. Every single game, he's had at least three assists. Very consistent. Yep. Very good passer out of the post or wherever he is. Nice drop off to Foster. Blocked by Bell. A stock already for Jordan. Be a positive for him because you figure well, he's clear for three months, right? So right. if you need someone in an emergency situation, you're pretty sure that he's not going to come down with COVID protocols. Foster working on Bell, gonna back him down. Blocked by JB. Second block for Jordan. Here's Foster, very good with his back to the basket. 
But it's a different story when he's being guarded by Jordan Bell. Yeah, who's blocked him, and then that one for all intents and purposes. Off the dribble from beyond the arc and then the mid-range. Looking inside, Foster puts it up short. That's just a grown man right there telling uh, LJ yeah. Figueroa, sorry, dude. Looking inside for Foster, he gets fouled and he scores. Kendall Smith puts up his arms in despair. Saying. Foster. Ooh. Drills. Hey, he could step out and shoot that thing. Wing triple is short. He's 57% on mid-range jumpers from 16 feet out to the three-point line. Okay, heat check. Boom, baby. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Probably oh, second round pick. He's skilled. And he wants the ball again. Okay. Oh, he's in his bag right now. Okay. Well, hey, Jordan Bell was definitely. All right. Now, this is good. Dyson Daniels realizing, okay, get the ball to Foster. That one off, but weak side rebound there for Scoot Henry. Kicked out to Hardy. He'll put it on the deck, drive, and dish. He's already hit two threes, Foster. And Dyson Daniels, he can get up. Ninth with a dozen on the shot clock. Bochamp working the high low to Foster Jr. A double team, and he was stripped, but muscles it in. I think Salt Lake City is going to have to be more. Responding. That's the theme. That's what Ignite is all about. Foster off on this one. Communicating on defense on that end. The 19 known for their defense, and they get a high percentage shot on the timeout. Michael Foster Jr. All throughout their professional journey. Yeah, we've talked to three of the young guys in the past couple of days, and they have been so complimentary. Foster Jr. showing a little bit of range on that one. But the young player... Eno Johnson getting the stars on the board in this fourth quarter. Here's Foster. Michael Foster with authority! The things he's able to do... Geely! Look, right now he's doubled. Oh, he pulls! That didn't go well. It'll get there. Two Jetter, he's known Jason Hart, the head coach of Ignite, since he was 10 years young, too. There's the jumper for Michael Foster, Jr. There's the range. And I Hardy crossover. Doubled. Foster, Jr. Bochamp trying to fly in for the board, but Alston Jr. comes out. Players who can take it themselves. Michael Foster Jr. on the back down, using his muscle, and Johnson just shut him down. And Ignite needs to keep their eyes on this guy. I think anybody should have a down day, so that good energy starts with Coach, and you can see it really trickling down to his players in practice today. Michael Foster Jr. a little long. Coaching. Yeah, a lot of connections between the two teams. Jazz head coach Quint Snyder was a former G League coach as well, so they really use the program as much as they can and, and really giving you advice that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah, exactly. And, and not just going against pros in the game, but being in practice every day as Ignite continues to be physical inside Foster Jr. But I think right now, that's what they need to continue to do because the three ball has not fallen early. Hardy to give to Foster. Gets his own miss and puts it back with the foul. Michael Foster Jr. setting the tone. We see State in his first year hitting the free throw and it's a six point game. The Stars fighting their way right back into it. Here's Foster. Comes Edwards. 10 on the shot clock now for Hardy. Giving it off to Foster with five on the timer. He had that one rejected back from him. And that's one where you maybe just want to do a quick kick out. On Friday, the League Winter Showcase gets started on Sunday right here in Vegas. Tons of coverage across the ESPN platforms, NBA TV. Should be a lot of fun as Scoot Henderson's defenders. Carson Edwards playing nearly 70 games as a Boston Celtic. Trying to get his career revved up with the Stars. 
the stop. Here comes Salt Lake. Cheddar with a dozen picks on the clock. Murphy off the fake. Nice give off to Foster. Yeah, beautiful read twice from Murphy, who recognized on that drop. TV challenge his team heading into this week in Vegas. They'll have the Winter Showcase coming up too next week. He said, who are we going to be? Are we going to be a team that responds from adversity? Act yourself. You don't want to be falling on your wrist like that too frequently. Dyson Daniels short. Foster couldn't stick it back. About a nine second, six points, eight boards. It's been the glue for the Stars. Now Foster on the back down. All muscle for Michael Foster Jr. Great spin move. Comfort for all. Get 20% off your first purchase at Bombas.com. Oh, you think this is a game? Nah, this right here, this is the NBA G League. The world's most game-recognized game league. The most groundbreaking league. Handoff for Henderson. Working downhill was bumped but didn't get the call. Deep in the timer. Foster can't hit from the line. Back-to-back -back possessions of just this blue team throwing it down where Jason Hart had to call a timeout. They had the momentum going for them. Yeah, they were getting off the ground higher than the Blue Angels on Friday. 5-5. Five, five. Edwards cutting in, but Dyson Daniels stripped it. Here's Foster on the move, halfway down and out. Case Cup. Two weeks from today. Ignite on the break. This is Foster running the floor. That is because mentally, that's just tough to overcome. We'll give you an update as soon as we can. Foster couldn't hit the runner. The slip to Foster. Hesitates, puts it in, and the foul. Michael Foster Jr. Already forced to reset with 10 on the timer. Foster has to hoist. And it pops out for the rookie. Can't get the second chance for the blue. Great effort by Wiggins there to try to keep things going. Anderson sets up an open Foster. Big man can't connect. 50% three-point shooter Melvin Frazier Jr. puts it home. Now it's Foster. Bad gamble taken inside, and he makes the defense pay. It was an angry dunk. Now bringing the offense out of that great rim protection. Only five on the timer. Foster loves that mid-range jumper. He looks comfortable taking that, too. And I love to see. He'll fire anyway from deep. Didn't even hit the rim. Rebound inside, and Foster muscles it in. Your lottery pick, Jaden Hardy. Back inside to Foster. Couldn't flip it in. OKC has to move after missing that. Every time and beating him to the spot. Daniels, back to Foster. And connects this time. Talented 18-year-old Dyson Daniels running the point immediately, picked up by Rob Edwards. Quickly inside, and Foster hammers it home. Goody. Bochamp drops it off for Foster, who just checked in on the last whistle. And over Krejci ends an 8-0 blue run. And that's what I help everyone out. Win the rim, Morgan. That is what they like to say in Oklahoma City. <laughs> Long two for Foster. Oh, that's got to count for one, right? Foster with a turnaround. But off the rim and over to Wilson, who dominated the first rest one month into the G League season. Foster thought about it. Why not let it fly? And the big man nails it from the corner. 
And it's how can you handle that physicality? How can you handle that physicality on a mental level, but then also when you're going up the rim? Do you have to change your shot? Do you have to do something different? Michael Foster Jr. there, hit in a mid half. Foster sizes up Wilson. I don't know if anybody was expecting that. Long rebound to Daniels. He tries his law for Ignite. The double comes for Hardy. Anderson swings it to Beauchamp. Corner pocket three. No, but Foster cleans it up on the miss. Wilson. Daniels out to Foster. Can't connect. Edwards secures the rebound for the blue. Hesitation, long rebound into the hands of Hardy. Pretty sure he's got it. But a couple of wins this weekend would be huge to boost their chances. Absolutely, and they seem like a team that's really been picking it up, understanding what it's going to take to get there. And they just keep digging these holes for them. Foster backs down Saw. Tough turnarounds, too strong. Champ inside. Had to switch it up. Grabbed his own miss. Still won't go. And there's Foster. Count it and the foul for the big man. Foster. Cot Wilson slipping. And flips it in over Krejci. Good patience by being hounded by Murky. Murky, nice defense there, saves it, goes off of Bochamp. Bochamp recovers. Six on the shot clock. Shots on the way, it's good. How about that look by Foster? And yeah, another great. Dyson Daniels handles, defended by Graves, gives to Foster at the free throw line. Nice pump fake. Misses the shot and a good rebound there by Kata. 17 years old. He's not even eligible for the draft until 2023. No, it's been fun to watch, Deuce. It's the high caliber of talent that's on this squad has been so fun for so many. With his defense, two-time Mount West Defensive Player of the Year. We go the other way. Foster, look out! The big man runs the floor and jams it home. He's even a little bit more on their messiness. They're being sloppy. Kings just need to do a better job shooting from beyond the arc and not allowing that to happen. Michael Foster with another jam. King. Now Stewart trying to grind his way to the NBA. Three for four from beyond the arc for Stewart. Just a guy, like we said, you can depend on from three. Missed shot there by Foster. Morgan Reagan on the call from Stockton Arena. Pass to Foster. What a finish. Wow. You can just depend on him, like we keep saying. And With a nice rebound off that Stockton miss. Trying to get this lead into double digits. Foster has the ball, showing off that jumper. That one's short. He follows it, and the ball is stripped. And Murky, Murky, nice defense there. Saves it, goes off of Bochamp. Bochamp recovers. Six on the shot clock. Shots on the way. It's good. How about that look by Foster? And, yeah, another great finish by Dyson Daniels. Handles. Defended by Graves, gives to Foster at the free throw line. Nice pump fake. Misses the shot and a good rebound there by Kata. He's not even eligible for the draft until 2023. No, it's been fun to watch, Deuce. It's the high caliber of talent that's on this squad has been so fun for so many. It's defense. Two-time Mount West Defensive Player of the Year. We go the other way. Foster, look out! The big man runs the floor and jams it home. And a little bit more on their messiness. They're being sloppy. Kings just need to do a better job shooting from beyond the arc and not allowing that to happen. Michael Foster with another jam. Kings shoot Stewart trying to grind his way to the NBA. Three for four from beyond the arc for Stewart. Just a guy, like we said, you can depend on from three. Missed shot there by Foster. Morgan Reagan on the call from Stockton Arena. Pass to Foster. What a finish. Wow. You can just depend on him like we keep saying. With a nice rebound off that Stockton miss. 
trying to get this lead in the double digits. Foster has the ball, showing off that jumper. That one short. He follows it, and the ball is stripped. Good start for the C-Dubs, coming off a win over Salt Lake City a week ago, 116-111. Ooh, that's a nice move inside. Michael Foster, Jr., number seven recruit in his class. Can nice shot was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven right in front of us. Foster driving to the rim. He is a strong, skilled, big player, but didn't get that one to go. Foster, mouse in the house. Good defense. Santa Cruz really swarming. We talked about there. Hardy to the hole. Out to Jetter for three. Oh, good. Good decision there by. Hardy to not force up a shot and kick it out to Jetter. Foster no. lethal in the mid range. Henderson jabs up. Now they post up Foster on the mouse in the house. LJ Figueroa. And Good strong move there yeah. from first. Doesn't get it. What I was going to say was yeah. no Moses Moody to start the second half. So we talked about it. Only six minutes in the first half, and he is not on the court now. So. Be shot up draft boards. Almost a near turnover, but then Foster tomahawking it down. Almost threw it away. Inside Foster, tie game. Wasn't sure if Foster had regained position. No idea why he was on the bench for so long. Something. Something was going on. Foster rumbling to the rim. Foster's got it. Sizing up Kaminga. Short. Offensive rebound and put back in by Bochamp. That almost banked in. Yeah. Uh, a lot of muscle on that one from Moses. Foster inside, barreling his way to the bucket. Foster, power dribble, power dump, timeout Seth Cooper. This will be a Henderson. Trying to thread the needle, it gets to Foster, he lays it in. Two point game, 108-106. Well, I, I buy Eliza Kane. And a shakeoff Kane, kicks it back out, has a teammate, Foster Jr. Shot too strong. Rebound by Stanley Johnson, pushing it for the South Bay Lakes. And gives it up, loses it, gets it back into his hands. Foster Jr. Working. Free throw line from the rim. No, rebound by South Lake Lakers. Max McClung. No matter what side of the court, he hit it was there. He's Foster entry pass. Ball for the Ignite, who are up by 10, 29. Dina, not too far from South Bay Lakers home. Working, Foster, long shot. Nothing, picked up by South Bay Lakers, pushing it. What they're doing. Hardy picks up his dribble, cutting teammate of Foster. Bouncing around the rim, doesn't fall. Oliver gets the rebound. Foster, with a bow champ. He's had a good one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Michael Foster Jr. with the dunk ties it up. Hey. First layup missed. Hardy pushing it up for the Ignite. Touch pass to Foster Jr. off the glass. It rolls in. And the G League Ignite with a 10 point lead again. Bounce pass. Foster Jr. Five on the shot clock. He's working against Johnson. Reverse. Gets it to fall. Michael Foster Jr. Finds Hardy cutting in the paint. Oh, Block shot. But what a rebound by Foster Jr. Grabbing that loose ball. Shot no good though. Jones attacking the paint. Off the six. Foster, spin move. Athletic move. Doesn't fall. Puts it back up. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot. At bay. But once again, can South Bay create a stop? Foster for a three. Nothing but net for Michael Foster. A little bit stronger. 
Daniels takes it up at the free throw line. Foster has it. Spin move for Foster. Tough shot. But Michael Foster Jr. gets his third record with a 48 inch vertical leap. <laughs> it was insane. I was there in Chicago. It was ridiculous. Michael Foster, another guy who has impressed the scouts. He's got an NBA father brother of Jaden Hardy for Ignite. <laughs> Go right on the block to Michael Foster, banging with Giles, turnaround jumper. He already looks like NBA ready. He really does, and again, that point yet, but Poo Jetter is a great veteran for this team to have, and the way Poo Jetter is mentoring these players is the exact same way that Jason Hart mentored Poo Jetter growing up. Foster, his first miss, couple shots blocked early, and the conversation was about, hey, just dunk everything, and you see his attempt early has been to do that, and he's been much more aggressive attacking the bat. Foster with the handle, the crossover, over to the pull-up jumper, counting. Hardy trying to shake his man, kicks off to Foster. Now you, see, you see Baca starting to creep out and, yeah. and realize that much physicality on the block. Foster setting the high ball screen. Going up against Giles. Look at him backing down Giles. That is some strength. Well, and the reality behind it is that one short. Rebound is to Foster. Foster now leading the break. Okay, big man. Trying to go coast to coast. But Abaka a little too tall. For Bochamp, man. For a kid who was going to quit basketball to now could be a lottery pick. An incredible story. Well, we, we have one Ignite shirt, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, it's, I'm not sure. The, I'm They're coming over trying to block his shot. Daniels, nice pass to Foster coming through, lays it in. How about Foster? He wants the ball right back. Oh, absolutely. He wants to go right back at him. And this is his advantage. When he faces up, he has guys at his mercy. He misses the shot, but he's going to get whatever he wants when he faces up because that defender can't put hands on him. Scores. Clippers at 7-0 run right now. And you're seeing great execution by the Clippers, but more importantly, you're also seeing great screen setting and great shooting on the night as Michael Foster gets involved. And now they pick and pop here for Foster to get a look. He would be the guy. Hardy, Damson got his man in the air. Foster. Lining up the feet. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but again, he's shown it. Clock clicking down. Shot clock's at seven. Daniels, front rim. Hardy with the rebound. Kick out. Foster for three. And Ignite. No, Dyson Daniels running the show for Ignite. 6'6 six, six out of Australia. Dumped down to another prospect. That's Michael Foster seeing his first action for Ignite. And Foster missed their opener. Daniels just 18 years old. Deep shot for Foster, and there's the first bucket for Ignite. And that's one of the things Joe put himself on the radar simply with his activity, his energy. One of those guys, and when you consider Yakima, you're talking about close to Seattle, a guy like a Kevin Porter Jr. Many of the players that are similar to the of rim protection when you consider what the Clippers are going to do in this game. Foster one-on-one -on -one against Giles, and Foster gets it to go with the foul. Well, we've got our two young three. And again, that's something that, you know, Jason Hart talked to us about earlier. Because many of the players from Ignite do not necessarily know the guys from the Clippers, they may not respect the in the G League. Dyson Daniels out of Australia. That's Foster from deep. Two minutes to play points. And now you're down 11, giving the other team momentum. Marjan Bochamp is step into this arena, and this is the, Cl the Clippers' first G League game, so the first G League game this year for Harry Jobs. When you step into this arena, it's all like, hey, I already know how to do this. But then King to get to that line straight to the basket, forcing him to make the kick out and then coming up with a defensive rebound. That's a great defensive possession for Hardy. We've seen a bunch of great offensive possessions as we see a great offensive possession from Michael Falk. It's how tall he is. And I mean, th th this is a shooting guard. He's 6'6", legit, maybe 6'7". You know, when you consider his ability to raise up over top of defenders, you know, he was a stiff. Ten minutes to play here in this fourth quarter. Michael Foster going against Wright, shielding with the body off the mark. Here comes Coffee. 
played back-to-backs in the NBA before. So <laughs> this is nothing new for them. But for Ignite and for a lot of their young guys, this is a first time that they'll see it. It'll be interesting to see what this energy level is like for them tomorrow and the opportunity. That's got to be fulfilling for those guys. But, you know, these guys are really just trying to fulfill their dream of being NBA players. Mm. Sweet move at the free throw line. Michael Fulton did miss that three, but I think this is going to be a really tough game on both ends of the court. Now, both of these teams are going to be feeling themselves out throughout. Still no scoring. Prospects and veterans. Miss on one end. The Ignite. Jetter. Nice pass underneath. Hits the trailer. Foster. Yeah, absolutely. Daniels to Foster underneath. Count that basket. Skyforce biggest lead in that first half. 15 points. That was 45 to 30. Foster in and out on the jumper. But again, Foster has impressed Foster on the defense. And give him credit to be able to be savvy enough to not draw that foul. Beats the shot clock, does Foster. Yankton, Watertown, Aberdeen. Oh, and Pierre, they were merciless to him in Pierre. It's good to see Mike mainly meant for the later portions of the contest. Well, Jetter's back on the court. Foster trying the three. Little heat check. Aggressive to the 10. Late in the shot clock here. Foster, turnaround jumper. For morning. Oh, he's feeling it. That was Trey. <laughs> that was a good one. That's a tough shot to make. And he nailed that one. He's really coming on here. Now, baseline jumper closing in on the latter stages of this third quarter. Hardy scoots to the lane. Oh, they tried the alley oop. Here's a three for Kieran Hayward. 79-69 on the catch and shoot. Anderson had his pass stolen away. And then back we go the other way. Michael Foster back to the basket. Little baby hook shot no good. Zhang has his shot knocked away. Standing dribble top of the key. Gives it off for Jaden Hardy. Now it's Foster. Tries a long three top of the key. Off the mark no good. Here comes Bowen the other way. Down the right side. Found Brian Bowen, who knocks down another three ball. Two for his last two. Here's Foster on a little pull up. That one no good. And Iowa looks to transition into the front court for the Ignite. Off for Foster. Foster with a strong drive into the paint. And a little bit of contact, no call. And Balmaro off to the races. Good bounce pass for Bowen. Was outside looks. Shot well from out there in the first half, but those are not falling here so far in the third. Shot up, no good, but rebound by Beauchamp. And he and Silva battle. Lost it on the way up. Now Hardy with a nice pass inside for Foster, and he just clears wow. space and powers it in off the glass. Impressive on both sides there by Foster. Here's Pujeter out front. Little pull-up jumper nicely done there by Foster. Well, he's really settled in here in the third. Times. Here's Hardy on an in pass to Foster. His shot no good. Boy, Bouchamp just went right over the defender. Missed the tip dunk. But it's another right there. Hardy has it on the right wing. Foster flashes to the high post. Foster, little fadeaway. Back iron no good. Boy, Miller gets up there and rebounds, doesn't he? He does. Goes for Allen. Now Daniels with it out top. Up for Foster. He was... Double teamed immediately, and his shot off the mark, and they keep it alive, boy. <laughs> Although they haven't put the two points on the scoreboard. There's Foster through the lane. Bowen hit the deck, no call either way. And now it's right, right.
shifted to the other side of the paint, so that way there was a an outlet, and Ledoux found him. Kendall Smith to the line after missing that layup, he was fouled. Six of 13 in this one thus far. Hardy wants it back. He gets it back and he puts it in. He was going to have space there no matter what to take. Jaden Hardy has a wide open three and pays it off. So Ignite was six. Another one. Kevin Murphy, former second round draft pick, nails it. Oh, nice pickup for Santa Cruz. Kendall Smith, the mouse of the house. Baseline cut Amari Hardy. It's just going to be hard to double every single. Into the corner. Hardy, another one. It's good offense there, just pick and roll. Jonah Foster was 0 6 from the field in the first half. Kevin Murphy has a good look at a three. He puts it in. 2023. I yes. can't wait to see him in 2023. Ignite is catching fire. I see what you're doing there. For Jones, no. Sorry, partner. Oh, saying Dyson Daniels, another one that. NBA scouts and experts believe to be a first rounder. Look at that athleticism. Wow. That's why Dyson Daniels, the young break. He needed to get well. Yeah, and he little, needed to get well. under the weather. Yeah, he, uh, so hey, it was tough to watch in two games because we enjoyed watching it, but man, it was tough to do. Beauchamp for a long two. Shoot on the timer. Jetter with a jumper. Uh uh. But the big boy with a reset rebound. Back out. Jetter for three, and that one hurts. Ignite which is their fourth. So a one-point game. If you're new to the G League, you're going to see a lot of points scored in this game tonight. And on cue, three more from Dan in this building tonight. Oh, the outlet to Foster, how did he catch that? Bochamp. Yeah, you talk about NBA body types. You talk, well, sitting at 86 points here for the Ignite. And that two-pointer is going to make it 88. I know some fans in the stands open. Idiom. And we'll see. Here's Bochamp knocking down the three ball. Said that right away in training camp, defense was evident. And, and, and expected. <laughs> like, it's, it's good that they follow through with it. Um, and as I mentioned, because it allowed. House in Delaware, 117.85 in favor of the home blue coats in the blue uniforms. NBA G League Ignite in town wearing white. Bo Champ knocks it down. He's got 23. Evening. 12 on the shot clock. Foster to Hardy. His pull up jumper is good. Foster. Bochamp on the cross, attacking, drops that in. I think it'll be a challenge tonight for... Quarter action, Megan McPeak, Tony Massenberg with you. Jetter on the kick, Miles. Nice pass from Foster. That is a very nice pass. Again, we know what C.J. Miles... Right now sitting at 20. Foster. Hardy for three, he connects. Continue to see the hot shoot back in. Spencer wanted to do something dirty to the rim on that one. Yes, he did. Foster was there to disrupt it, but Hardy comes back the other way. I think it's really been beneficial as far as the ball movement. Foster kicks it. Daniels for three. He connects. 116. Daniels gets it over half. We're now under a minute. Getting the backdoor cut is Henderson. We've seen a couple of backdoor cuts from Henderson. Quickly back the other way, can't finish. Foster Jr. has it. He'll push it himself. Finds Bochamp in transition. Good job running by the Ignite, and they take the lead. Timeout, Adam Caporn. 
three short. I still can't balance a checkbook. That's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately for us, these guys are looking at a lot more money in their careers as Kevin mm -hmm. Murphy knocks down another three and 20 points for Craig Randall. A relative walk in the park for Craig Randall today, those 36 minutes, but he did hit the 20 mark once again. Dyson Daniels from downtown. Boy, he really has a Justin Reyes was a four, sitting three threes on Friday. Dyson Daniels, that rim looking as wide as a hula hoop in this first quarter. And Dyson can show your talent and, more importantly, hide your weaknesses. I've never heard a coach say that, but I like that. How about starting all five draft-eligible prospects as Marjan Bochamp gets the party started? He's a fortunate to be able to call him my big brother. He's the reason why I went to Oak Hill Academy way back in 1990, and he is a celebrity on the circuit during the summer. Every kid. Daniels Henderson and Amari Hardy, the older brother of Jaden, out there for Ignite. This is Scoot Henderson, the underhanded shot, showing that extra effort here in the fourth quarter as the lead extends to 28. Zang, a pretty finish. And Jet Terry should be an excellent coach. He played a long time in the league, an NBA champion. Last year he was at Arizona with Sean Miller. Arjan Bochamp getting his name in the scores column. He's another name you need to get to know. Athlete in terms of blow by speed, but just impacts the game on both ends. Had a huge shot the other night against Salt Lake. Ooh, Ooh, what a nice pass. pass. Pass Michael Foster to Fanbo Zang. And, and Foster's had one of their G League teams are finding guys that end up being really good players. Ooh. I think he kept it on the ground. Look at that. Daniels! Look at that. Showing off what he's got in his bag. Jet Turk. He just showed you why he was the Mac Player of the Year last year. Was that on Daniels, too? Did he dunk on him? Lance. Kevin Murphy with the G League kids in double figures tonight. Now they get the steal. Here comes the breakout. It is all white nice. jerseys running that. the other yep. way. Daniels finishing it off. Impressive. John, this is impressive. Thanks in the first half. Contested three. Murphy splashes it down. That was a pretty good contest from Jordan. You gotta be more active, young man. Right now he is active. Creating the turnover. Now they got numbers. Up on the housetop and down through the chimney came Marshawn Bochamp. He's got 10 points. Murphy slashing and hitting. Kevin Murphy is putting on a clinic for how to cut. But I want not only for me to be able to showcase my skills, but I want these younger guys to come out even better than I've come out. And right now he's looking strong. Right on cue. Pooja Edwards just so quick on those cuts. You, you turn your head and he's at the rim. Now Hardy. 19-year-old. This time he does connect with the left hand. And the lead back down to six with three. Ignite still with it defensively, though. Foster Jr. feeds it off and with two hands. Dyson Daniels hammers it home. How about Michael Foster? Gives it in play. Wilson holds his own. In the shot clock again. This is Murphy again. A long two for the veteran. Putting things together, you know, they're a team that they do well pushing the pace, but they've really started to figure it out in the half-court offense. Bochamp hits it from deep. Michael Foster Jr., a five-star recruit, ESPN's seventh best prospect in the class of 2021, gives to Murphy, count the basket. Caleb Ledoux wide open. That one doesn't go, hit one earlier. Look at Foster getting the rebound, leading the break, and getting the assist. Wow. Marjan Bochamp, the dunk. Allen. Over to Foster. Open three for Amari Hardy. It's a high foul. Dyson Daniels going to post up Foster. Feeds the cutting scoot. Henderson. And on that one, Kaminga gambled and left Henderson. Mason Jones is a good-looking player. Foster Jr. working into the corner. Allen for the corner three. Dakari Allen 
six. Their first win of the season. The veteran Pujetta with it. Bounce pass to Foster in the paint. Gives it up to a cutting teammate. Bochamp is there. 14 points now for Marge. Four, he was taken into the locker room. They're going to take a look at him. On the next dead ball, we will show you the replay of what happened there. Murphy knocks down the triple. Great action. Once again, out of the timeout. This is the first time, you know, many of these players have played. I can speak of four specifically for the clip for the nice pass by Foster as Murphy finished it off underneath. Yeah, Ignite, these guys, this step for. to the lane. That's Marjan Bochamp. Learn his name. 6'6 six, six out of Yakima. Speaking of Bowen, here he is attacking and not able to connect. Long pass out ahead to Allen, and Allen lays it up and in. So two and a half to go, and the lead is back. The pros, guys. It's half. Guys who should be or would be in college otherwise and half professional veterans. Out a couple of big time talents and Marjan Bochamp, and as we mentioned earlier, Scoot Henderson. Foster offensive rebound swallowed by Selim. They get another offensive rebound on Ledoux. Missing there. Wiseman puts it up. Not quite. Joe Lake sitting courtside. He wanted that. Why is you like that song? Oh. It was kind of mainstream. Yeah. You're more of the underground guy. Yeah, a banger is a banger, Drew. <laughs> Foster inside. Wiseman well, stayed straight up. Oh, you got to call the official by his name or yeah. her name. And, and sometimes do the research. James Wiseman couldn't spin that one in. Make a ref feel respected if you know his name or her name. Well, pulled back Jimmy. Doesn't go for Robinson. Robinson hit three of his first four shots. James. Another spoon from the left side. Has to be right wing threes. I think you need to alert. Just bulldozing his way to the rim. Took an extra step as well. A play on. Probably said something to Daniels after he missed. That was cool. Gotta love it. Gee. I mean, he was really animated and then Mwubbe Looked at him like, hey, come at me again. That was I agree. Beautiful behind the back. Oh, and Taylor couldn't pay it off. What a feed by Figueroa, though. I mean, the original pass from Chioza was legit as well. Ripped the ball away yeah. from an Ignite player on a drive. This is the free throw, a rare miss for Weatherspoon at the line, who is 86% from the stripe, which is eighth. Hardy dribbles into a three. Daniels kept it alive. Oh, Ooh. got away with the travel. He hopped. Fine. Weatherspoon for the lead. And the shot clock off for Ignite. So far here tonight, now can he continue it? Can he sustain it all game long? That's been his issue this season, the efficiency. Foster, like you're not going to have most of these guys for more than four to five years, seven years at most on a team. For the most part, as Foster finishes, it just, yeah, that's, anyways. That's, Ferrari, Figueroa trying to run it up from the foul line. He made a ball fake, and no one was guarding him. He was kind of unsure yeah. what to do. Yeah. Jaden Hardy with a hand in his face. Yeah, that was a tough pull up. Oh, that's a trap. Yep. The Santa Cruz has done well to fight back. Fantastic. And he was a great seed up last year on a flex two way from Dallas. The follow is good for Foster. Well, it was a nice little give and go pass from Foster. In difference. Corner three to Kari Allen, an air ball, and that's a shot clock violation. Probably a couple of more tenths of a sec. Check in. Next opportunity. Good ball moon. Fambo Zeng's been hooping tonight. Ooh, nearly had another three. And Foster gets fouled going up. Out 
to Henderson. Nice shot fake. Good closeout by Ledoux. It drops off the iron, but there's another offensive rebound. Pushed up by Daniels. Ledoux zips it out to the open. Evans, Jacob Evans, the third. Ooh, he's had three threes go in and out. Figueroa, long range three. The last box score we got. Be in double double territory. Jaden Hardy. And somehow landed in the lap of Foster. And that was a good, strong take. He just Veteran in his own right. Foster. Can't finish. Defended well by Mawukbe and then stripped by Pemberton. Here comes Quindary Weather. Longtime G Leaguers play with Grand Rapids, Agua Caliente, and Salt Lake City in the G, dating back to the 17 18 season. Yeah. Well, Drew yeah. predicted it. It's your fault. <laughs> Weatherspoon up and short. Since it was 52 40, Santa Cruz. Jerome Robinson on a long two, missed everything. Hardy, seven. Seth Cooper saying, just want to see a continuation of what we accomplished against Birmingham tonight. Figueroa with the block. Murphy throwing that one down. And he certainly did. Murphy rattling that in and out. Oh. Jacob Evans, fortunately, that he was trying to put on a show though for the fans. It's a good way, right? Yeah, that's an air ball. Oh, Selim Awugbe says, get that out of here, Michael Foster. Just a little under 14 per game this year. Projected number two pick next year, Ryan Taylor. How did he airball? Yeah, what? Percent. He is just completely flipped his season around. Jaden Hardy, wild shot there, and Foster gets fouled. Yeah, the doing the regular season, 42. That was way too late. Two on one, a lob for LJ Owen. Taylor slipped. Taylor. Too much. I always tell those guys, stick to what you know. If you're a rebounder, rebound and block shot. If you're a scorer, do that. But don't get outside of your comfort zone as we see Foster with a nice offensive rebound over Taco Falls. That was Murphy's first miss of the afternoon. He was three for three. Middle got a little floater slash jump hook up. Scott with the take. As the veteran Pooch either holds for the last. Misses it. And the behalf ends. Charge and Cleveland has, Cleveland has numbers if they want it. Tacos inside, throw it to him. Let the big man rumble. He gets the attempt, but no good. Look at Foster. Big fella. Big body bend. 2 nothing ignite. Just underway, 30 seconds gone by. Saban Lee for three. That's short. And uh, here comes Ignite, plus two. On two-handed style. Just under five to go. Another one. ball for Jones. No, sorry, partner. Oh, saying Dyson Daniels, another one that NBA scouts and experts believe could be a first round. Points. And uh, you can tell that's his focus tonight. Hardy misses the short shot. He's grown cold after a hot start. But his teammate bails him out. Zane. Gates hands over the last few possessions. It's been easy money. Looking for another dime here. Two fives doesn't equal a dime on that. No, but they, they got a good look, Chad, and then moked it down. Pretty looking shot. Comfortable doing many things. Hardy also. His 10-footer no good. Foster stick back good and the foul. Does this look like Zion Jr.? Foster, Beauchamp, and Hardy. 
shot is blocked. Oh, Saban Lee got hit in the face. Got hit, no call, and the ball don't lie. Walton gets it. Since I saw Greg Kelser here tonight as well, doesn't get any better than seeing George, his wife Mary next to him tonight at the game. That's Detroit royalty right there. Sure is. Love to have heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> then you haven't been to Woodbridge because I, you have to go. They are. That's right. And I think we have. We just haven't. Uh, you and I were there with uh, with the wife. With the wife. Multiple times. Effort. Jones with a near steal. Two to shoot on the timer. Jetter with a jumper. Uh uh. But the big boy with a reset rebound. Back out. Jetter for three, and that one hurt. Nice area. Thirty. 38 years old. You got me on that one. <laughs> Short corner, Turner, no. Rebound by Ignite, and here comes Foster and Company. Develop talent, we want to find talent. And, it, you know, second year of the restoration, some of these guys are going to get an opportunity. Yeah, they are. Sooner than later. I, I agree. Yep. So this won't improve it because ah, it that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's good for him to see it go through the hoop. Nice defensive play by Mawupe. Two on one for the C Dubs. A lob for LJ! Movement here. Making quick decisions. That was .5 basketball through and through, but they turned it over. Oh, Ferrari taking it away from Foster. Interesting pass there to Leduc. Jaden Hardy with a hand in his face. Yeah, that was a tough pull up. Oh, that's a challenge. Yep. Sanders has done well to fight back, get in this one. One of those wasn't in the actual finals. Yeah. I am, wow. A lot has happened since then. That is right. Legal screen set by Fo Foster. The back is way down. Double comes. Of course, the turnover. The dude will suck it down. Foster. Can't finish, defended well by Mawugbe, and then stripped by Pemberton. Here comes Quindary Weatherspoon. Night in zone. That's what Eli Pemberton, he was looking back to Seth Cooper at the foul line saying, we're playing zone here, right? And he gets a deflection. And Ledoux lost it going up. For 16 here in the regular season, so unselfish right there. Foster had it stolen away. Saban, three on two. Circles back and resets. PDA and what a process it is just to get there, but then also to stay there. That is quite a battle away from the ball as Foster and Gabriel get tied. Bakari Allen, one of the veterans on this team. And the Ignite turn it over. Kamari Hardy. Drops it off to Michael Foster Jr. An offensive foul. Top draft prospects for the upcoming NBA draft. Dyson Daniels and Scoot Henderson playing catch. Shot clock goes under 10. Here's Michael Foster Jr. There's Charlie Brown with the active hands. And that's what you were talking about. Friday, took six threes. Made one, but he looked good in the process. Averaging 20 points. The Blue Coats come away with another steal. Four on one. Key for B-Ball Paul. A nice block from Foster with seven points on three for three shooting. Key right on him. Shot clock at eight. Off the hands of a cutting Murphy. Well, that is active defense. Get it out of here. So they go back at him. They do. Foster creating space. And Bassey says no again. Well, Matt, the interesting thing I thought to start this second half. First game with that type of production. Sorry, Tony. It's all right. And a travel call on Foster. Foster, back to Hardy. Ten on the shot clock. Hardy to Foster. And another travel. Again, go -Go's doing a good job. Go champ Foster now with it. Taken away by a Yayi. Cross court shackle. At the start of the Showcase Cup, and he made his way to the Brooklyn Nets, but back here for his second game ever with the Long Island Nets. Nice impact there, getting Bryce Brown involved in the corner. Turnover by the Ignited in France, Turkey, 16 years as a pro. 
for the 38-year-old now Poo Jetter, who's coming off the bench at the point guard spot here for the Ignite. I don't know if the math lines up exactly right, but game tour started on Friday in the Atlanta area against College Park. Hardy inside for Foster Jr. has it knocked away. And the Nets turn it right back over to Beauchamp. And a Foster has it poked away. And it's turnover number 18 for the Ignite. Raekwon Gray, working at this level, they thrive on getting out in transition. Letting those athletes get out and run. And we saw that on the last possession. Here is another turnover. Gray, kick out. Josh Gray, an open uh, process here for the G League Ignite. Head coach C.J. Williams, he told us, Kevin, one of the things that he's been so impressed of is sort of like the instant maturity that these players have coming, for the most part, coming right from... Because of COVID and everything, we haven't played a single home game. These guys have battled despite living out of their suitcases for a couple of months. Foster trying to find Henderson, throws it away. Coming out of the... Daniels off the screen with seven. Trying to float it inside to Foster, commits the offensive foul. The no off the cut. Foster is 0-5 from the floor in this first half. Now has it poked free. He's played in so many games in college. And it wins one game in the NBA. I know it sounds short, but it, it, that doesn't exclude practices and, and being around different players. You talk about replicating it, but this is a back-to-back -back for Ignite. And remember, you're talking about a younger group of players coming in and trying to have that same level of energy, that same level of effort in a back-to-back. -back for Primo in a six-point game. Dyson Daniels racing into the front court, and Foster gets called for the offensive foul. Nate Renfro. NBA history to never be named an All-Star, which was a flat-out crime. I can remember during my time in the NBA, the two guys that I didn't want to play against most, Gary Payton and Rod of Michigan. This is his first shot of the game. Former lottery pick of the Sacramento Kings. Foster can't hold on to that one. Turnover goes over to Grand Rapids. Gold. Now, it is important to note that he you know, said out of Tennessee Tech, 6'6", 185. One of the veterans on this team inside to Foster, and Foster loses it. Here he is. See the projection of this kid, because it's just impossible to think that he's out here at 17. Yeah, this is invaluable experience. I mean, the fact that he's gaining this as a 17-year-old and being able to play against it felt like unfinished business when these two teams wrapped up their dramatic game Monday night. They both brought it here this evening. And that's where Ignite got into a ton of trouble. Oh, look what I found. Foster Jr. with the steal. Gives it right back. Blake Fitz. Going to be playing a small role, but nonetheless, he'll be on your movie screen shortly. And he's 18, Kim. Big difference in this game. Yeah, keeping Ignite off their feet. They're coming down one time, it's man, then it's zone. And another turnover. The 27th. Salt Lake City a player to a potential lottery pick in a few months. Bochamp took his eyes off the basketball, and Krejci will gladly pick it up for OKC. Here in the midway. 37 points in this one. Foster going to work, showing off the handles, the big fella, but the ball's knocked away. Kana comes up with it. Foster ripped 37 points in this one. Foster going to work, showing off the handles, the big fella, but the ball's knocked away. Kana comes up with it. Foster. 19 points, seven assists, five rebounds, and he was plus 21 in a five point win. Yeah. That tells you all you need to know about his value. Kaminga pokes it away from Throw Foster. It up. And Tupon draft eligible until next year. And that was thrown away. And by next year, you mean 2023. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, yeah next yeah. after next season is how I should have said it. All good. See many behind the head passes like that. Yeah. Especially on plays where it's a block or a charge. Oh, nice hands. Take it away. 
And Quinn Derry flushes it down. Now he's got more to his game, for Indeed. sure. Indeed. But you can do those two things, and you're going to play a lot. And that is great defense by Kaminga. Throw it up. He's going to go all he the way. He just lost it. Yep. Good mention, LJ Figueroa out there with five personal fouls. Downton's got four. Stolen away. Downton down the lane. Takes the contest. Spins out. 720 around the rim, but the iron unkind. That's an illegal screen. That's a big man just 15 minutes. And rattles in the second one. So big free throwing late. Kaminga steals the inbound pass. And then he gets fouled. Oh, Jonathan Kaminga. Foster Jr. in the paint, moving. Ball tipped away from Foster Jr. Gets it back, knocked away from him again. Good defense right by Stanley Johnson. Yeah. Out, rebound, back to number 15, shot blocked. That was Brown Jr. Saved by the Ignite, into the hands of Kane. Bounce pass. Hey, Sonny. Oh. and fouled. Hey. Go to the yeah, I think Mack, he, he can attack. A little bit more aggressiveness out of him because he turned that game around the last time by himself. Lakers down by six, spin move by Jones. Into the follow the South Bay Lakers social media pages for all the info and details. Foster oh. Jr. Pass intercepted by Mac McClung. Mac McClung into the paint. Mac McClung goes up, dunk it in. Mac McClung. On this group, but still a rookie. So when you look at this now, this is a crucial time for this group to not only stem the tie, but see if they can find a way to get to cut into this seven point. I'm sorry, nine point lead now, but to be as high as possible. Or, or, you know, that night in June when Adam Silver's calling out names. For the guys who are in between and Amari Hardy, this is an opportunity for Amari. It's good. DJ Stewart making his presence felt early on. He's got five. And then another steal. Here he comes again. DJ Stewart. Down. It's Daniels up top. He'll send it in. Foster. Foster might have a case of being foul, but instead we play on. Come on, cut the lead. It was 20 to nine in the end of the quarter, 25-22. Skyforce get the ball back off the steal. Long lead pass. And you know if it actually was, they're not going to admit it. Oh, that one got knocked away. That was in traffic. They're into a double team. They tried to feed Foster. Straight ahead three. That one needed a little bit more. It looks like they're calling. Well, with Jesse Govan only playing five minutes in the first quarter, I don't think we'll be seeing much of him. Cite a couple things that about every player on the floor has done well here so far. And Foster whistle for the travel. Growing pains for Foster. Heath. And ball poked away though. Good block by Foster. And he turns it away, turns it over going the other way. Can't find the mark. Now he's matched up with Foster. Foster lost the handle and it's going to be off Foster's hand out of bounds. Been a little ahead of himself right there. That was too. They actually added two more points to the scoreboard. I'm I think they sure. counted Wright's bucket, didn't they, before oh, the foul? Yep, yep. It was up on the cylinder. Exactly. Speaking of Bowen, here he is attacking and not able to. Him up. And we wish to Corey McLaughlin the best of luck as he gets his body right. Try to go to the lob for Dunbar, but Foster was all over it. Look at Foster. Yeah. He loved the hustle. Both guys. And eventually a jump ball called. Caleb was there. volume of shots. The kid out of Milwaukee. Expected to be a first round pick. They have him anywhere between 12 and 25. Tough pass there from Saban. And it's swiped away by Hardy. The Hardy boy on the run. This game is coming. Scoot Henderson. Ball out of bounds. Missed the bunny. Around some of that size. There's a breakup. And Jason left USC to go to the Ignite. Oshamp was 
working out this summer with Jamal Crawford and some former NBA players and said, hey, I'm going to go to the G League and play for the Ignite. He's right. Foster has not been able to have the same influence offensively as he did in the first half when he was 5 of 5. So he's 2 of 4 here in the second half. Scoot. Jaime Echenique getting his first minutes of the second half. Here he is. Stripped and taken away. Here's Goodwin with it now, 12 on the shot clock. Backdoor cut, tried to get it to a Yayi, taken away in transition. Henderson. I know the face, I know he's Zach. And again, in a game I never called him by his last name anyway. <laughs> Jaden Hardy, I hope you used his first name. Oh yeah, I know Zach. <laughs> as we broadcast the game and all the fans here are wearing masks. Outlet deflected and here's Daniels off the Allen tip. Nice bounce pass. Was giving him a pep talk <laughs> saying, you gotta be more active young man. Right now he is active, creating the turnover. Now they got numbers up on the housetop and down through the chimney. Bochamp. Check. Oh, look what I found. Foster Jr. with the steal. What gives it right? Those Knights. Now on the drive. Had it knocked free. No foul called. Looks like Allen got tripped. With an Australian going in the first round. Josh and so. Giddy. No, sorry, finish that thought. That was the same following Josh Giddy. Jaden Hardy lays it in. South Bay Lakers in their home purple. Alley U, Nick Long gets it up too far. That's Daniels. Dice. Well, an encouraging sign just to see Serge Ibaka playing basketball again. Alley U can't connect. By Harry Giles. He's been a spark for this Clippers team here in the third quarter. He really has played very well here tonight and handled the, you know, the change from going to a starter to coming off the bench behind Serge Ibaka, handled it very, very well. This guy's at his mercy. Misses the shot, but he's going to get whatever he wants when he faces up because that defender can't put hands on him. Ignite get the turnover. Bochamp sets his feet beyond the three-point line, in and out. Damn. See him again in a C-Dubs uniform. I mean, he's in the rotation with Golden State right now. Nice pass to Weatherspoon by Chioza. That'll be off Ignite. Man, nice job by Foster. They are missing that three. It is Selection Sunday, so yeah. like we're allowed to talk college hoops. Wax of course. a little bit. Dunbar. Former Auburn Tiger will go to the line. They got a Rome Robinson to throw it in. They go to Q. Blocked by Foster, and we are playing a couple of more minutes. Maybe Santa Cruz will have company. Corner three contested. Foster got a piece of it. His name means happiness in Swahili. Weatherspoon. A little awkward take there. Kind of. It was Back a, when the dunk contest actually yeah. kind of mattered. He was one dunk away from beating Fred Jones. First layup, no. He was trying to put on a show, though, for the fans. That game, which has been popping, you know, his shoe game is on fire right now. <laughs> we, need to get a, we, need, we need to get a camera angle on those shoes. That's Foster with the excellent block. Look, Look at up. Henderson everywhere. Yeah, Henderson's in the middle of everything. In a time of need on the NBA side. So it, it really is allows the G League to have to be a part of the platform of All Star Weekend. It's such a special weekend with the 75 and the 75 greatest players of all time. It's great. Now, and it's 19 to 15, cruise by four. Justin Turner with a floater. Short picked up by Garza. Saban trying to get on the scoreboard. Game will be decided by. Michael Foster Jr.'s mom's meatloaf. <laughs> and the reason I know that is because she treated the Ignite. Gabriel. That is blocked by Foster. That's what Wendy and Gabriel adds. <laughs> 
<laughs> Foster goes right back and blocks Gabriel. The Ignite on their coaching staff, former blue coat head coach Rod Baker. Rod Baker was honored with a jersey before the game, the first coach in franchise history. Yeah, this is a team they love to get out and run, show their athleticism on the break. That's why one of our points of emphasis was not allowing that break to begin. Here they are on the move. Yeah. All that jazz. Yeah. Allows for real growth, not so much in a vacuum. Spencer wanted to do something dirty to the rim on that one. Yes, he did. Foster was there to destroy. Daniels out of Australia. Has a long history with Long Island head coach Adam Caporn. We'll get into that as this game goes along. As Woodbury is blocked at the rim by Foster. And the Ignite have it back. Dyson Daniels, who now stands at 6'6". Six six. That was a nickname for Dyson Daniels when he first came into the national team program. The little pipsqueak. Not so little anymore running the floor here for the Ignite. For the entire season because of COVID. So, guy, we've heard that story, you know, in different forms and fashions for a lot of guys who... You know, didn't really get the competitive basketball that they're accustomed to last year because of the pandemic. So another guy. Crawford down with it off the miss from Foster. Crawford kick out for Bryce Brown. He'll drive it. Brown blocked away by Foster. Now Michael Foster Jr. has really stood out in this first turns on the Jets. Lost the handle. Inside Woodbury. Blocked away by Foster. Good D there from Michael Foster Jr. He's running the floor. Hang up threes like he was in the first game. He's playing a lot better. Davis maneuvering. Sent back. Stuck with it. Foster doing his best. Of the third try, just two. Team amongst all 30 G League teams. Foster throwing some muscle inside. We can hear the slap from the table. Struggled to get on the board tonight. Has the tall task of defending Davis. But ends up getting a hand on that mid-range jumper. Player as such. And the level of potential that they still have to grow into their bodies, the athleticism, and become even better players. Devin Booker was young, very similar to what Josh Primo is coming into this. And again, a great night for Ignite last night. Of course, they're not as good tonight. But again, it's difficult for NBA players alone to be able to perform the same way on the back-to-back. -back. All these guys have been impressive. All are going to play in the league, and that's what Sharif Abdul-Rahim and Ron Strickland had in mind for this group. Foster tipped that. He blocked the shot of Stauskas. Now with seven on the shot clock. Fitz. That was blocked by Foster. And with three on the timer, Ignite never... Five of six in the first half. This time delivering the dish to Fitz. Malik Fitz, again Foster. He takes no prisoners, Kim. Paints just one three in that first half. Edwards to the corner. Here comes Elijah Hughes. Shut down at the 10 by Foster. And that there was no help defense. And then when they came late, perfect read over to his teammate. Jared Wilson frame was rejected by Foster. He is everywhere tonight. Huge seven. Out of the timeout. Stars needing a bucket. They get an extra opportunity here. Another denial. Michael Foster Jr. is taking it. Still about a four second differential here for the blue. Edwards baseline drive has it blocked by Foster. Especially in his senior year, what he had to bring with his leadership and kind of bringing that into this team now. Wilson whips it inside. Simpson picks up the loose ball, but can't put it in. Nice reverse. Needed that too. Stop the bleeding. Like you said, getting out in transition, that's one of their best strengths. <laughs> How about Foster with the rejection? <laughs> but Melvin. Aldon with a big hop step. Tough pass to Horton. Blowing by Foster, but couldn't finish at the rim. Lindy Waters, the third, and Michael Benege. Jaworski, a great score at Lafayette, is blocked on his way to the rim. Arjan Beauchamp. Off. Nearly a double-double, 14 and 9.7.
this year. Figueroa finding the cutting Evans set away by Foster. And oh yeah, averaging almost three blocks per game in into existence. I'm calling him Scooty. Scoot can shoot. Moody blocked by Foster. What a play. And Henderson into the corner. Corner three. In and out. Rebound. Back to number 15. Shot block. That was Brown Jr. Saved by the Ignite. Into the hands of Kane. It's on the ground. They're battling. McLung gives it up to Hardy. Hardy has it. Going up. Oh, the attempt is blocked. Ignite pushing it. Hardy on the wing. Hardy goes up. The ball back. Poked away briefly. Back to Max McClung, the former Georgetown Hoya and Texas Tech Red Raider. Attack. Shot back. Blocked by Foster. Pujetter pushing it. And it goes off of it. The other night, flew here to Vegas to play in the game. Last night, tips it down to Serge Ibaka. Going to work automatically. Boston is rejected. Here comes Ignite the other way. And you see, the thing is, it's a smart play by Michael Foster to attack because any contact is going to be a foul. Right, rejected by Foster out of bounds. Start in the first quarter. Hardy leading all scores. He's got 14 points in the game. He's a perfect 4 of 4 from downtown. Scrub inside Giles. Get that out of here. Michael Foster with the rejection. Off here in Vegas. And we have to educate our fan base. Ignite, their home is not Las Vegas. However, their home games are played in Las Vegas. Uh, Sharif Abdurrahim talked to us about. 11 point lead for the Clippers as we approach one minute to play here in this third quarter. No reverse, and that is volleyball spiked out of bounds by Michael Foster. Inside. Eight point lead. Shot attempt blocked. Again, that's Foster. Basket shot up off the glass, no good. Now Bowen off to the races. Nice pass for Moon Young, and what hustle there by Foster. Kind of looked like he kind of locked. 91-83, right through the lane. Bounce pass for Bowen. Bowen, good pass in for Moon Young. Can't convert, wow. and the ball out of bounds off. Robinson to throw it in. They go to Q. Blocked by Foster, and we. It just, yeah, that's, anyways. That's silly. Oh, that's short. Yep. Ferrari. Nearly stolen. Dunbar from the corner. It looks good. It is good. What? So 2014 lost to Fort Wayne. 2013 lost to RGB. 2015 defeated Fort Wayne. Okay, I thought one of those wasn't in the actual finals. Uh, Maybe Santa Cruz will have company. Corner three contested. Foster got a peat. In an exhibition game, this will not count as a loss from Santa Cruz's regular season record. Ignite hit just two of its first 10 shots to start. There's Ferrari drilling the three. Eight. An awkward rotation on that three. Like a knuckleball. Frankie Ferrari, an open three, he's hit another. Catherine Chang, Paul Tubi, and Tyler Murkovich are three. That's Jerome Arana. Jerome Robinson, not that time. He hunted that. Isaiah Reese, who had played two years with the C Dubs. Shot fake, and Ryan Taylor tickets. For more info, visit SantaCruzBasketball.com. Call 831-714-4400. Bills paid. Let's play basketball. And there's after that one. Can you imagine what he'd be doing in high school right now? Uh, he'd be averaging <laughs> 602 <laughs> points per game. Frankie Ferrari. Uh, that one wasn't close, but I do like the, the spin that Hardy gets on his three. Night. And, th and that's an area where they're working on with, with Hardy. The fact that they want him to be a little bit stronger when it finishes inside and also his decision making. Another offensive rebound for Cleveland. Cleveland doing all the gritty, the, the dirty work right now. Nice block by Scott. No back down at all. James gets it back to Scott. Shoots the air. Doesn't it? it does. Lead with a steal to the hole.
and the kick out. Four three is Splitter. Bendigo, Australia puts up 11 a game. And right now he has four quick points. Garza from the corner now. Show some impact on yep. Ignite. No, Johnson and, and Diallo both can affect the game that way. JJ, 4-3, no. A couple times now we've seen him in the post. No look to check. Back out, 4-3, Chris Smith. Anytime the ball has been in number 38's hands over the last few possessions, it's been easy money. Looking for another dime here. Lee tonight, eight assist. To go with his 13 points. There's another one. Loop. Trying to clean block, and the ball hit him right in the face. Told you that ball doesn't lie. I guess not. Rasheed Wallace told us that. Garza for three now. Nets played. Two minutes played in the second half. Garza for three. Garzilla wants the two man game. Unselfish pass, top side three. Very impressive. Mari Hardy getting an opportunity to play. Johnson to add to the corner. And from the outside, a two pointer. I'm not so sure I heard Bank. <laughs> Good for two, though. More style points on the last one. Sides of the ball. Our first time to see this Ignite team. But you could see why there are so many scouts under a minute to play in the half. And Rod had a great 17-year career, but he also was an assistant coach at Kentucky. Uh, spent some time coach for No. <laughs> That's terrific. The old team meal. There's a bonding event. It's Good save. You only get one challenge in a game. Kenley. That his stock was on the rise. I mean, some even say to the point of being in the lottery. Three Ignite players right near the lottery in the latest mocks. Charlie, base move. So just to keep in mind, Foster has not missed a shot here today. He's 4-4 four four in his last time out Friday against the... Your guys for Ignite, Foster 13, Beauchamp 13, and Govan with 10. Reed has 11. Can't get to four. Ball season. Here comes Long Island in transition. David Duke Jr. Kick out for Brown. He'll take the corner three and the Nets surround in the standings for their G League opponents. Duke Jr. driving baseline out to Raekwon Gray. He'll fire the three, he leaves it short. Three of seven as a team from the line. Straight away three from Duke Jr. Off hills before the game, a very complete player for just 18 years old, won't turn 19 until March. Brown misses the three. Randall, he'll take the three. Craig Randall. In high school right now, he's supposed to be going to prom, but instead he's playing against pros. Some are twice his age. His own teammate is 21 years older than him. Another. Kick out. Tyler Davis, a rare three. It's short. Kaycock launching from deep. Off the sack, follow. Primo launching. He's only going to get better as a prospect, especially in an organization like the San Antonio Spurs that does a tremendous job with their development. Team into the draft and then stayed in the draft after he got positive reviews at the combine. And a great night for Ignite last night. Of course, they're not as good tonight. But again, it's difficult for NBA to continue to play the entire time and also recognize that they're still being evaluated by these scouts. Two minutes, Two minutes to go. Two minutes. That's impressive. All are going to play in the league, and that's what Sharif Abdul-Rahim and Rod Strickland had in mind for this group. Foster. That he has. He scored 50 in a game at Tennessee Tech. That was the most by any Division I player that year. It was 10 years ago. Robinson to throw it in. They go to Q. Blocked by Foster, and we are trying to clean block, and the ball hit him right in the face. Told you that ball doesn't lie. I guess not. Rasheed Wallace told us that. Garza for three now. 
Here's Goodwin with it now. 12 on the shot clock. Backdoor cut. Try to get it to a Yayi. Taken away. Three of seven as a team from the line. Straight away three from Duke Jr. Off. Inside. Davis has been quiet. Draws a crowd and still puts it in over. Salt Lake City Stars team has played a number of single possession games. Defense, and then when they came late, perfect read over to his teammate. Jared Wilson frame was rejected by Foster. Of Jaden and Amari here sitting courtside. And it's got to be a great advantage for Jaden Hardy to have his one away from the basket. No shot attempt. Now we got a drive and a scoop by Michael. Swings it around left side. A little pull up jump shot from just outside the left. Hey, if you really want to get a call, you got to call the official by his name or yeah. her name. And, and sometimes do the research. James White. 24. See if they can get it to six or seven. Pepperton off the shot fake. Been able to have the same influence offensively as he did in the first half when he was five of five. So he's two of what Foster did, but that's who it went against. Springer has 10, looking for more. Comes up short. Checking where Foster is. Six seconds. Monroe still with it, attacks, teardrop. And Monroe yeah. allows for real growth, not so much in a vacuum. Spencer wanted to do something because of COVID. So a guy, we've heard that story, you know, in different forms and fashions for a lot of guys who you know, didn't really get the competitive basketball that fixed here in the final minute of the half. Greg Randall on the drive, Randall to the rim. That follow. Primo launching. Williams, who I really think is going to be a good NBA player. 6'6", 199 out of Australia. Lance Stevenson with that patented fatal. See if Georgie can go to work again on Foster. Janis Feely going baseline with nice. the reverse. Pretty good. How about Janis Feely running the point here, but he's going to be called for a carry. I think they gave two more points to Ignite than they should have. Pull up, jumper's good. Point shooting has not been a specialty for them in the two games this week up to this point. Here's Fitz. That one just spins off. Look at Foster Jr. Ding up Edwards. Let's see how this ends. But Carson Edwards is giving him the shimmy. Now the Stars, they need a bucket. Hughes thought about it. Hughes drives. What a finish for Elijah Hughes. Ignite need a win to avoid dropping to three and six. Hobson steps back. Okay. Edwards with the ball. Step back three. The third and Michael Benege. Jaworski, a great score at Lafayette, is blocked on his way to four point lead. Graves attacking. Rejected by Zang. The long four point lead. Graves attacking. Rejected by Zang. Wu of Moses Moody. Kaminga muscling his way to the 10, bothered by Foster. He was patient on him, Scooty. Scoot can shoot. Moody blocked by Foster, what a... Jaden Hardy trying to get on track. Played his high school ball at Coronado High School, not far from here in Henderson, Nevada. Here comes Coffee. That's just too much space. And Malik, is it, is it DA or... And even though he's a high school prospect, he's eligible be, to be drafted in 22. Looks like a bowl out. Eight point lead. Here. He's taking his time, isn't he? He is, and yeah, Foster on him. That's a mismatch. Iowa with an eight point lead in the basketball. Wright has it on the left side. 
Right, a lineup of three ball. Got it. I don't think we'll see him again in a C Dubs uniform. I mean, he's in the rotation with Golden State right now. Nice pass to Weatherspoon by Chioza. That'll be three. It is selection Sunday, so yeah. like we're allowed to talk college here. Wax course a little bit. Dunbar. Dunbar with the nice. left. Get stops every time. Kendall Smith with the left hand. Oh, drops off the iron. Whose name means happiness in Swahili. Weatherspoon. Was Back a, when the dunk contest actually yeah. kind of mattered. He was one dunk away from beating Fred Jones. First layup, no. To get Daniels to the block, and he took his time, went right to the middle, got a little floater slash jump hook up. Scott with the take. On the NBA side, so it, it really is allows the G League to have to be a part of the platform of All Star Weekend. It's such a special weekend with this set. Chris Smith from the perimeter with an attack and a two-handed finish. He looks really, really good on that foul through. He struggled a little bit with the three-point line, and <laughs> no struggle there for by Michael Foster Jr.'s mom's meatloaf. <laughs> and the reason I know that is because in 100% competitive in that next possession, no matter if you just scored or if you turned the ball over. Kenley, oh, how did that not get to 100 points or less? Kenley to the hoop. So when we talk about his recruiting class, number seven in the country, we're talking about the 2022 class. Which right. would be Gabriel, that is blocked by Foster. What Foster did, but that's who it went against. Springer has 10, looking for more. Comes up short. Monroe attacking, the teardrop doesn't go. Bochamp with checking where Foster is. Six seconds, Monroe still with it, attacks, teardrop. And Monroe. Yeah. Allows for real growth, not so much in a vacuum. Spencer wanted to do something. If it's six foot six. That was a nickname for Dyson Daniels when he first came into the national team program, the little pipsqueak, because of COVID. So, guy, and we've heard that story, you know, in different forms and fashions for a lot of guys who you know, didn't really get the competitive basketball that six here in the final minute of the half. Craig Randall on the drive, Randall to the rim. Back out on the floor, out of the timeouts. Andreasi gives up to Jaimes. Good recovery and defense. Josh Primo, youngest player in the NBA, driving in. Now it's Kaycock that goes glass. Up by two. And Dyson Daniels led Ignite in scoring yesterday with 21 points. Great outing for him and the level of potential that they still have to grow into their bodies, the athleticism, and become even better players. Devin Booker, 50 full-time jobs available in the NBA. You've got 60 two-way players. You've got a number of different avenues to get in. See if Georgie can go to work again on Foster. Janish Feely going baseline with nice. the reverse. Pretty good. It's a reach out. And the devastation of a tornado is uh, indescribable if you've never seen it. It, it, is, it, is, it is incredible. Lance Stevenson, Grand Rapids gold with a three-point lead over G League Ignite. Chalmers breaking down the defense. That's what he's been doing for so love to some kids yeah. in need. And, John, I've said this now for about 10, 10 or 15 years. The, the uh, character of NBA players, nice block there. The character of incorrect. And we think it's 40 to 25. Here's LJ Figueroa. Scoop to the hoop and it's Now with seven on the shot clock. Fitz, that was blocked by Foster. Point shooting has not been a specialty for them in the two games this week up to this point. Here's Fitz. That one just spins off. Wilson Frayne, five of six in the first half. This time delivering the dish to Fitz. Malik Fitz, again Foster. 
He takes it. Now the Stars, they need a bucket. Hughes thought about it. Hughes drives. What a finish for Elijah Hughes. But to go through courses like financial literacy and other programs, three on the timer now as that runner is short and dominated the paint, just one three in that first half. Edwards to the corner. Here comes Elijah Hughes. Shut down at the 10. Defense, and then when they came late, perfect read over to his teammate. Jared Wilson Crane was rejected by Foster on the free throw attempt. Still about a four second differential here for the blue. Edwards, baseline drive, has it blocked by Foster. Big hop step. Tough pass to Hort. Blowing by Foster, but could Edwards been a little quiet tonight. Wilson, spin move inside. Acrobatic layup won't go. The third and Michael Benege. Jaworski, a great score at Lafayette, is blocked on his way to four-point lead. Graves attacking. Rejected by Zhang. The long four-point lead. Graves attacking, rejected by Zane. And just pulled up a three because you're not doing that when you're sharing the court with Steph Curry. That is true. Quinton Derry Weatherspoon. It's in hand or, or something around there. This is, it's only 12 to the Showcase Cup. As Kaminga oh. flies past Boss Wu of uh, Moses Moody. Kaminga muscling his way to the 10, bothered by Foster. He was paid to showcase his skill set on that end. This is fourth steal. He's got 11 points. Kaminga wide left. On them, Scooty. Scoot can shoot. Moody blocked by Foster. What a. I don't think we'll see him again in a C Dubs uniform. I mean, he's in the rotation with Golden State right now. Nice pass to Weatherspoon by Chioza. That'll be three. It is selection Sunday, so yeah. like we're allowed to talk college here. Lax of course. a little bit. Dunbar. Former Auburn. As Omar once said, you come at the king, you best not miss. Exhibition schedule. Baseline drive. Figueroa flying in for the... Wugbe with nine rebounds. Weatherspoon. Gets fouled by Zhang. Splitting the defense, Kendall Smith. Oh, what a move. That's a big time finish. 24 for Hardy. End to end we go with Robinson not quite able to run. The ball and then either he's gonna come get it or they're gonna try to get him. Oh, or just Kendall Smith is gonna put his head down. The Euro step. Weatherspoon up and short. And no Mawube. Ferrari lost it going out of bounds. And Seth, normally he's pretty adept at that shot. Oh, he's got a nice touch. Jerome Robinson finds oh, the cutting pepper. Harry Weatherspoon back out there, trying to wrap that one around. Kind of put his hand up saying, my bad. That one up in a phone booth. He was like Ron Burgundy in a glass case of emotion right there. Florida. Free throws down. It's 19 to 15, Cruz by four. Justin Turner with a floater. Jones with a steal. Saban looking for his first points, and he has them. Oh. Doesn't he? He's just letting the game come to him. Really does. Offensive rebound stick back. Chris Smith has oh, guys on this team. Yeah, he leads him with 16 points a game and nine caroms a contest. Oh, look at the arc. Instead of one more dribble off the bounce, it knocked him down. Jaden's brother Amari also here. Oh. How about Foster, Beauchamp, and Hardy? Shot is blocked. Oh, Saban Lee got hit. The mark, no. Yeah, I think uh, 
Jason Hart said, I'm putting my best five on the floor to start this half, see if we can get back in it. Garza with a poor rather. His numbers just grow by the second. Down the avenue, Chris Smith with a rim rough. No question. Gotta help somebody. Fade away, Turner, floater, no. Offensive rebound, Smith, no, but check. Now Waters into the paint, draws a crowd, kicks out to Rajon Tucker. Rajon looking for an opening, and he is fouled by Henderson. Big games. Oh, he's my Mr. Smooth partner, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Opened up the regular season in the beginning. Oh my goodness, Jalen Leglong. He's athletic. And Bailey gets the close to 42%. You know, the keys to the game were shooting woes and free throws, and right now we're eight for nine. Did by Michael Foster Jr.'s mom's meatloaf. <laughs> and the reason I know that is because she gets a shot clock violation and then a delay of game warning as Tucker makes it all the way to the, the arena tonight. Now Waters in traffic, misses the shot, an incredible pace. And LaCue. White uniforms. The officials are Tyler Murkovich, Paul Toomey, and Ian McClenny. Braxton Key back in the starting lineup, but he misses the. On their coaching staff, former blue coat head coach Rod Baker. Rod Baker was honored with a jersey before the game, the first coach in. Dyson Daniels guarding Jaden Springer in the lane. Up and no good. Murphy's first miss. He's made both of his threes. Miles Powell to the cup, blocked away. Key recovers. Words to show Reed through his jacket, the last name Reed. That is so awesome. Brown, the nifty feed. Braxton Key, strong. Ignite in white, blue coats in blue in Delaware. Jaden Springer in the lane. Well, he left Hen coming out. He's going to be a shooter. And he makes his first attempt of the half. Brown grabs Pat Point as they're operating in Ignite's end of the court where their bench is in the background. Springer takes and denied. But a lot of times it takes a while before you get acknowledged. For this Blue Coats roster and how it has taken shape this year, they won the Showcase Cup in Las Vegas with a 14-1 record. Paul Reed for two. And eight rebounds and three assists in 27 minutes, Tony. That's how you get... <laughs> an impression on your teammates real quick. Winston Come out. misses. Winston goes to Sword. Into the body. Now, Monroe. Works with Walker. Attacking. Lays it up and in. And that's some will hit your guy. He gets open. Goodwin attacking, one hands it off glass to start the third. They cut the lead down to 10. Goodwin misses, gets Walker, works off Monroe, attacking. Misses. Miss. It is a Friday. It is a Friday. <laughs> Monroe would get the offensive foul, but there was a no call. Gogo have to be conscious of trying to get a good look right here. Like good that. enough for you? That's good enough. <laughs> Back to James. Nice two man game. Big time. Friend of the show, friend of the program. Yeah. He's one of our close friends, so yes. are we biased? Yes, of course we are. <laughs> Former Stanford basketball is certainly a, a bright future in the professional world. And Selim Awugbe has scored to home. Gets stops every time. Kendall Smith with the left hand. Oh, drops off the iron. Didn't play a whole lot at Oregon. Never just under four points a game, but average 13 a game at UNLV. One from Scoot Henderson. The future perennial NBA All-Star. Jacob Evans. The it was Back when the dunk contest actually yeah. kind of mattered. He was one dunk away from beating Fred Jones. First layup, no. 
early in the game. I'm not saying they're definitely going to be that, but they have that type of potential. Oh, and what about Henderson? I can't forget about him. He's really impressed me. Nemhart with the drop off. Scouting in for the rebound. Here come the Cruz down four. Cruz second best rest record in the G League as the Chris Smith from the perimeter with an attack and a two-handed finish. Kid out of Milwaukee, expected to be a first-round pick. They have him anywhere between 12 and 25. Tough pass there from Saban. Double-double machine check Diallo. He is. Light minutes tonight, though, Matt. Makes good of it, though, when he's in, as he does there. Double zero. Gets the Ignite closer to their triple digits. Chris Smith pull up no. Whether you get 10 seconds on the court, one possession, or you play the whole 48 minutes, you've got to work and show everybody what you're asking. He looks really, really good on that foul through. He struggled a little bit with the three-point line. And <laughs> no struggle there for him. From the outside, a two-pointer. I'm not so sure I heard Bank. <laughs> good for two, though. More style points on the last one. And 100% competitive in that next possession no matter if you just scored or if you turn the ball over. Kenley, oh, how did that not? New coach for the Ignite this year, Jason Hart, as his squad's on defense right now, Paul Reed and Charlie Brown. And Al, the Seton Hall product, back in for Braxton Key, a national champion at Virginia. And I know. Six to shoot. In for Bassey, who puts it in. Well, Bochamp is from Yakima, Washington, and Jamal Crawford is obviously a legend in Washington and yeah, Seattle we, we and all that. With him. Winston in the lane, drops it off at the last second at Janike. A couple of pump fakes and lays it in. Yeah, great pump fake. 7 0 run right now for the Ignite. Monroe snaps it. And that's a nice lob pass right there. Out of Australia. Has a long history with Long Island head coach Adam Caporn. We'll get into that as this game goes along. As Woodbury is blocked at the rim by Fulton. The Ignite took part in the Showcase Cup, the early portion of the G League schedule. And now just on this Ignite tour as Adam Woodbury finishes right into double figures. And we're tied at 42. Duke, the lob up top for Walker. Couldn't handle it. And then he's fouled. Randall, he'll take the three, Craig Randall. And Hardy's a player who struggled a little bit shooting this season, but a great shooter never worries his confidence. Torres fading away, finally shows he can. He's a player that reminds me a lot of Mikhail Bridges, somebody you can rely on get, uh, day in and day out. How about the feed to Davis for two? And to play games this year, but because of COVID and international issues, well, here goes Tyler Davis, no issue for him early. Two falls on ESPN Plus at midnight. Devontae Kaycock, athletic. Kaycock throws it up. It's an air ball down to five. Say this, Ignite lives pretty good. <laughs> when you think about the, everything, the resources are available to them, they live pretty good. And not to say that the other teams in G League don't. Players and join NBA rosters and give more guys the opportunity to get a call up. Kaycock rocking the rim. Coaching, also these guys are trying to show what they can do as well on the sidelines. And uh, Jet Terry should be an excellent coach. He played a long time in the league, an NBA champion. To reach out. The devastation of a tornado is uh, indescribable if you've never seen it. It, it, is, it, is, it is incredible. Lance Stevenson. Grand Rapids gold with a three-point lead over G League Ignite. Chalmers breaking down the defense. That's what he's been doing for so impressive performance by uh, these young G League Ignite guys, all in double figures. These teams, they're going back and forth here. They are trading buckets. Sean is Feely and one. Impressive. All are going to play in the league, and that's what Sharif Abdul-Rahim and Rod Strickland had in mind for this group. Foster sends some doubles and really make him work for his buckets. Johnson from Edwards, couldn't connect. In total from game one, Jaden Hardy feeling it early. 
The ball moving underneath. Gerard Tarrant. Distance now. 16 points in the opening half. Three on the shot clock now. Jared Wilson frame. Uh, now with seven on the shot clock. Fitz. That was blocked by Foster. Senior, the head coach of the Westchester Knicks. When they played in White Plains, New York, my hometown. Right? You hit a lot. Am I going to be playing? Am I going to be coaching? Well, I, I can tell you this. He does both on the floor. Nice give from Alston for the jam for... Sure, he wishes he could have that one back. Will Wiggins feeds Wilson for two. This as well. I very often see him struggle shooting. There's Wilson. Dirk-esque attack. Wilson on the block, fading away, didn't matter. 